Hello and welcome to another episode of Day Live Rene Utopia. I'm bringing Stabity, the stabbiest stab that ever stabbed. And last we played, we beat uh, Rene's root and we got the true ending of Rene Utopia. Sadly, as this is non canon to the Day Live universe, uh, basically everyone forgot Rene. So sad. And we continued on with the end of Season 1, just as normal. However, we did notice that uh, it mentioned there was a special memory we unlocked. Number 205, to be specific. So, let's go back. A Small Miracle. This is a story that may happen in the future. A what-if story. Now, fingers crossed, and let's hope that this is going to be more positive than the other one. Good morning, Sensei. Oh, Tonomachi's always uh, overacting about anything new. Huh, a transfer student? At a time like this? I know. I know her. That relaxed, that relaxed aura. A sort of ticklish voice. The kind yet sincere eyes. She turned my way and met my gaze. I'm sure nobody remembers her. No. There's no possible way they could remember. But protagonist has protagonist powers and he does remember her. But I remembered. If I have anything to say, it's this. Straightforward. Right at her. Welcome home, Rinne. Tadaima. <laughs> Well, now it is true that in the good ending she didn't die. However, uh, yeah, we, uh, I guess she got a body back somehow. Hey, Rene's Fantasia watched the what if ending in Rene's Utopia. Miracles do happen. Sweet! <laughs> Happy to get that reward. Uh, anyway, let's pause the recording. I'll be right back. Alright, and since that was uh, such a small, uh, a short episode, there is no way I'm releasing three and a half minutes as its own episode, we can go back and get the bad endings for, uh, uh, for Rene's route. So, you know, it'll be the combination of the what-if ending as well as the bad endings. Now, let's see, we go to Rene Utopia, load game, and let's start with 18, yes. And this time, let's press the intercom. Huh? Huh. Is anyone home? Excuse me, it's your neighbor, Itsuka. Huh. Maybe he'll just take a look inside. Oh no. We're like family, I don't need to be so reserved, right? Excuse me! Hey, Rene, anybody home? What? What is this? It it's not like she moved, right? There's no way she could have. Not so quickly. She never mentioned moving either, so Huh? Wait a second. Th this room. It's similar, isn't it? To my house. 
No, there's no mistake. It looks just like it. Wait. Came over to play all the time as a kid. Right? Why can't I remember any of this? How long has she been living here? Oh, what the... My head hurts! Uh-huh. Who... Who are you? Oh, my consciousness! So, warning, do not step into the Eldritch's ho Eldritch Horror's home. It does not end well. Alright, that's one bad ending. Now let's go to save 19 and grab the next bad ending from Wednesday. Let's ask her something. Renee. Is there something you're hiding from me? Oh, there certainly is. Oh. Hey, Rinne, could you please tell me what you know? Oh, Shido, Shido. Please, I'm begging you, just a little more. And I feel like it'll all connect. I want to hear what you have to say. Shido, sorry. What? All of a sudden? Huh? W what is this place? Ooh, we got a different one. Now, we saw this one during the battle, but I don't think during any part of the main story we saw the white one. Who is that? Hey, hey, hey! Stop! It's attacking! Huh? There's no mistake. I know this person. Ah! With no time to identify the source of that strange feeling, I passed out. To be continued. <clears throat> oh, there's another bad ending we got. Save, yes. All right, two more. Save number 20. All right, this is already on Friday. When I felt death approach, what passed through my mind was... So yeah, this is when Rinne's trying to kill us. The days spent with Rinne. That's right. Tomorrow I'll be woken up by Rinne, and she'll make bento, and we'll laugh together about small things, and... <laughs> Within my hazy mind, a large shock passed through, and my consciousness faded. Rene's memories watched all possible endings in Rene Utopia. Sweet! Although there's clearly still one more bad end for us to grab, but I guess that counted as the last one. Load game, save 21. Alright, so now we're inside of Paradise Lost, which is the dream inside of a dream. Or I guess the dream inside of the bubble universe? Like this? Forever. Yeah. I want this to last forever. I want things to last forever, too. <laughs> sure thing. This reminds me of when we were kids. That's <laughs> Huh? I know. Friends forever, Rene. And so we're stuck inside of Paradise Lost. 
forever. <laughs> and with that done, those are the what if and all the bad endings for Rene's route. Amazing. <laughs> Actually, uh, before we wrap things up, uh, let's finish one more thing uh, that we can grab because the next section is going to be a little different. So let's jump all the way back to save number three. So this is all the way back on Toka's roots, like way, way back. Original game, not even a new game plus. This is actually really important. Uh, this is a memory that you can only get on a new game plus. So this is where we uh, decide uh, Toka made some food for us. Do we eat Toka's bento? Do we offer Toka Rinne's bento? Or do we run for it? We take the coward's way out and run for it. Th this isn't good. If I choose one, I'll hurt the other. Ah, I'm going to run for it. Toka, I'm sorry. I just remembered that I have to take care of something. <laughs> sorry, go ahead and eat without me. Run! Brave Sushido ran away, bravely ran away, away. Ah, oh, it's so hot. I ran for it. Was that the right thing to do? While it's true that I had to pick between one or the other, I'm not quite sure I made the right decision. Ah. Oh. Man, I'm hungry. I killed some time before coming back, but what could I possibly say? Well, I still have time before class starts, so I can apologize to both Toka and Rinne. Toka, I'm back. Huh? Yeah, uh, sorry for not eating the lunch you prepared. Shido. Hmm? Look at, look at that, Shido. You made her cry. You're a horrible person. No, it's not like that. You see, I have my reasons. I was honest, and I told Toko about Rinne's bento. That's why I thought if I chose one bento over the other... I would hurt the other person. Because I couldn't come up with a way to not hurt either of you, I ran away. Yes, she forgot that we're such a coward. I know you worked so hard to make this, Toka. I'm sorry that I didn't need it. Shido would gladly eat Toka's bento. What? That's not an innuendo? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd love to eat anything you make for me, Toka. Actually, today's bento, I can eat it after school. Oh, Oh no! No, it's fine. It's all my fault. Shido, you're back. Oh, Rinne, I um, er. Wakatte ru kara daishoubu. Huh? Ohiri yasumi ni Toka chan ga obento o tsukutte kita te yu no kita yo. Watashi mo tsukutte kichatta kara komatchatta da yo ne. You see right through me. Sorry, Rinne. A coward that runs away at the first sign of conflict? Rene. Hi! So let me go to the home room. Okay, and there we go. That is the uh, little conflict that we had between. Uh, 
uh, choosing Toka's Bento and Rinne's Bento in the original run. However, there is a different version of this uh, in the new game plus, and that is, among other things, what we'll be doing uh, on our final playthrough of this, where we uh, go to get the uh, last missing memories that we have. So, uh, without any further ado, please like, follow, subscribe, check me out on Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, and Kick. Uh, free money in the description as always, and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye now.